In this video, we're gonna go over how to mix foam in our foamer. Now, we have multiple foamers, some made by B&G, some made by Aerogas, some made by the Rigman. For the purposes of this video, we'll show you how to mix foam in our three gallon foamer made by the Rigman. Uh, because it's demonstrative of how we make foam in all of our foamers because almost all foamers are the same. Now, in order to make good quality foam, first you need a good quality machine, good quality pesticide, and good quality foaming agent, okay? So you're first going to take the foaming machine, okay? In this case, the foaming machine is already empty you uh, decide how much foam you're going to need. You don't wanna to mix too much foam and just have it be sitting in the foamer. So ideally, um, if you have large jobs in which a small amount of foam just is not enough, um, it's good to show up with a machine and just mix your own foam. So in those cases, what you do is you take the foamer, the empty foamer, and first you fill it with the proper amount of water. Foam is generally mixed at the same ratio uh, in terms of pesticide as that same pesticide is when it's applied elsewhere. So for example, with Termidor or Taurus, you put 0.8 ounces of Termidor or Taurus inside one gallon of water. So in this case, we're going to put in our water and then you put in the 0.8 ounces of the um, pesticide, okay? and you slightly agitate it, and then you put in the proper amount of foaming agent. Now, the foaming agent made by ProFoam might be slightly different than the foaming agent made by Rockwell Labs. We always recommend that you read the label to get a good idea of the proper ratios. Um, some people like mixing it a little bit more wet, meaning that it has a little bit higher water to foaming agent uh, ratio. Some people like mixing it very dry which means it has a little bit more foaming agent in comparison to the pesticide. Uh, you will develop your own predilections and preferences, uh, which we encourage you to have, uh, so your treatments are more effective. But when in doubt, just follow the exact ratio on the, um, on the label and you should be fine. Most foams are very flexible in the ratios you are allowed to mix, okay? So you're going to put in your water, put in your pesticide, put in your foaming agent, and then, you slightly agitate the foam and you close it up and you seal it. With the uh, Rigman foamer, you have to make sure that you put the lid slightly in an angle and lift it up before snapping down the latch. Okay, now on the top of the latch, there is a pressure release valve. You have to make sure that that pressure release valve is off when you go to turn on the air compressor or else you're constantly going to be releasing the pressure that the air compressor is putting through. So anyway, you put in the water, you put in the pesticide, you put in the foaming agent, you close the lid, make sure that the pressure release valve uh, is shut, and then what you do is you plug in the machine to any 120 volt outlet, which is a common outlet, and then you turn the machine on. As long as the machine is not under pressure already, the compressor will fire up and you will notice that the pressure gauge on the machine starts rising. Uh, once you've reached the pressure that you find uh, easiest to work with, okay, you will begin doing your drill and treat just as if you were using the regular aerosol. You're going to drill in until you find the gallery, stick in the foaming agent, and then you are going to treat the areas. Now, a couple of tricks with the Rigman foaming agent. First off is if you turn it off, it will stay under pressure. However, it will not turn back on unless you first drain that pressure. So if you get a phone call from us and you have to answer it, so you have to shut off the machine because it is a very noisy machine, just know that you won't be able to start the machine back up again until you drain the pressure first. Also, it is a heavy machine. Be careful, we don't want you to strain your back or to injure yourself somehow. So be careful when transporting it around. And um, it's also easy to go through a lot of foam very fast. So try and do a good job of making sure you anticipate how much you're going to use uh, before you start mixing it. Other than that, have fun. Drill and treat jobs are, uh, are, are, are pretty fun. Uh, in terms of being different from what you do every day as a spray jockey. They're also very challenging because you kind of have to hunt down the galleries and find where the termites are. So if you have any questions about the machine or have any problems with the machine, by all means, give me or Craig a call and we will assist you as soon as possible.